is an enemy. An enemy far more dangerous than any we've encountered in battle. An enemy that is stealthy and insidious, silent and deadly. An enemy that works in the dark. In the warm, moist atmosphere of the tissues inside the human body, particularly in the lungs. Making this enemy even more vicious is the fact that it selects the majority of its victims from those who are in the most productive years of their lives, from 15 to 45. And this enemy is tireless, unrelenting. This year, in the United States, it will kill one person every nine minutes. enemy we've been talking about, working quietly at home, took more lives, many more, than were lost by all of our armed services on all of our battlefronts. The tragedy is that this horrible loss of life is unnecessary. For this enemy, whose name is tubercle bacillus, can be conquered. Tuberculosis, the highly contagious disease that this microbe causes is curable. Well, why aren't we doing something about it? Yes. Why don't we drive it out of America once and for all? If it's curable, why don't we cure it? Well, as a matter of fact, we are curing it. And we have been. For example, 40 years ago, Tuberculosis was the leading cause of death in the United States. Today, it is seventh in line. So you see, we have made progress. But we haven't made enough, until recently, that is. Why? Well, one of the most dangerous things about tuberculosis is that people are frequently not aware of it until the disease is fairly well advanced. And it is in the early stages, often before there are any recognizable symptoms, that it can be treated most effectively. So the problem of curing tuberculosis is a matter of finding it. And finding it hasn't been easy, when most victims of the disease don't even suspect they have it, until it has really taken hold. The most reliable and accurate way to detect tuberculosis is by means of an x-ray examination of the chest. But with this being the only sure method, it is not strange that so many cases have gone undiscovered. For a few of us, particularly if we're feeling all right, ever think of dropping in at a hospital or a clinic for a chest x-ray. And yet, if every man, woman, and child in the United States long ago had done just this, we might have tuberculosis licked right this minute. Well, today we are getting underway with an all-out, unrelenting determination. War has been declared on tuberculosis. One of the newest and best weapons in this war is a type of X-ray equipment that is truly portable. Using it, federal, state, county, and city health departments and tuberculosis associations are today making it possible to bring the means for locating and stamping out tuberculosis literally to the doorsteps of the nation. In places like large industrial plants, where a great many people can be examined at one time, the equipment is set up on the premises. 
A portable X-ray unit will soon be coming to you here. To see just what happens, let's take a look at Eileen Brown, a stenographer. We find her entertaining some girls at her home. Did you read this thing about the X-ray business, Eileen? Hmm, read it coming home on the bus. It said one of those portable X-ray jobs will be stationed down by the firehouse all next week. Are you going to have yours taken? I guess so. Why not? It's free. And besides, I want to be sure I'm healthy. I'd hate to present Tom with a wife who was anything but 100% perfect when he gets back. Come on, Tom. Here's a snack for to feed the body. Come and get it. Mmm, wonderful. Jesus, I'm starved. That was good. I'll probably be awake all night, but I'd love another cup of coffee. You know, I'm kind of afraid. Hmm? What of? That x-ray business. I'll bet it hurts. Why, that's nonsense. Haven't you ever had an x-ray at the dentist? They don't hurt. One of those units came to my husband's plan about a month ago, and he had one made, and he said there wasn't anything to it. It only took a few minutes. I'm worried about another part, though. What's that? Well, suppose you do have it. Doesn't it mean that you'd have to quit work and go to a sanatorium and maybe get operated on and... Well, you know. That's silly. It says here that if you do have it, and they let you know privately, Chances are you have a mild case that can be cured by rest. That doesn't sound very grim to me. And besides, if you had it, you'd want to be cured as soon as you could be, wouldn't you? And the earlier you discover you've got it, the quicker you can be cured, it says. That sounds like sense to me. Besides, what if you do kid yourself and don't get it done? You don't expect it to go away by pretending it isn't there, do you? Eileen Brown is wise to realize that she's doing herself and others a favor by taking advantage of this X-ray service. Let's watch as she goes through the procedure. First, she supplies certain information about herself. Her name, address, age, sex, marital status, and so on. Then, in a private dressing booth, she changes into a cape that has been given her for this purpose. Now we're ready for the x-ray. Thank you. Now we'll measure your chest. Let's just stand right over here, please. Stand straight with your shoulders thrown forward. Oh, well, that's fine. I don't move. All right. Take a deep breath. Hold it. Now relax. That's all. Easy, wasn't it? It certainly was. Why, that's as simple as having your snapshot taken. It's simpler. You don't have to worry about the sun getting in your eyes. <laughs> Some time later, the films are developed and then examined by a specialist. Many people who do not have tuberculosis have found this free x-ray examination worthwhile because it has revealed other chest and heart conditions that warranted investigation by a physician. Of the millions of people already examined, only about one and one half percent were found to have any tuberculosis. But it is by finding this small percentage of apparently healthy people and curing them that we're going to control tuberculosis and finally eradicate it. Eradicate it so that the citizens of a strong America will be able to enjoy life to the fullest and will be able to pass on the priceless legacy of health to the generations to come. Think a moment. 
Don't you think it is worthwhile for you to have your chest x-rayed? Thank you.